Hey guys, welcome to my devlog. It's Adam here and I'm going to talk a little bit about an app that I've been working on. So this is kind of, codename is Low Key Legends, which is a number of different AI avatars that assist you and kind of just be your friend and help you with the stuff that you need to do. So at the moment, I've kind of built in a bunch of different functionalities. The main one, of course, being chat, which you're seeing just now. And so, so the um, the app or the the AI it actually hooks into a number of different backend servers and services. So there's a a variety of different sort of plugins that I can use, and uh, including the AIs that I've built, um, the engines that I've built. So what you've seen just now is it's getting the news, and then the AIs commenting on the news as well. So there's a kind of that aspect as well. It's a bit if this each um, character has its own personality and um, you know you, you get to choose between different avatars but you use them all right they all have different skills um, so this is a sort of health app that I've just finished working on today so you can sort of set your you know your uh, if you've done your weights today if you've done some walking there's an overview um, I might format that a little bit better so here's some goals like long-term goals like reducing sugar so you can add goals, remove them. Um, at the moment, everything's sort of stored locally, but um, I'll be sort of exfiltrating that to database and uh, you know working to make it more interactive for um, bespoke for the for the end users. But again, the idea is is you've got this kind of all in one um, life app, I guess. And one of the sort of key features is it's proactive, right? So the AI characters and personalities will actively help you manage your emails, reply to people, act as your PA, you know, keep an eye on like your health and things like as you're doing this, it'll kind of prompt you, hey, maybe you should consider, you know, eating less of that. Did you do this? Did you do that? It's a little bit like a nanny and you can you can set those values as well. I kind of feel like at the moment it's going in the right direction. I've kind of built it in a premise in a similar way to VS Code that you just, everything I'm going to add on is like plugins. Because if I eventually do, um, you know, put this to market, then each plugin people might not want to have. So it'd be better that, so for example, this Weber might, I don't know, uh, reach out to a third party app for the Weber. You might not want to do that. Um, so you'll have like find uh, granular control over what you want. There'll be workarounds as well, so that if you don't want to go online, it'll have local local mode as well. But yeah, so this is basically it. Um, you know, this is all just a precursor to my main sort of AGI that I've been working on. So given that's like a much bigger task and undertaking, this here, what I'm showing you, is just really a chance for me to work on something a little bit more shiny and simple and a bit more enjoyable. So clearly this is an AGI and it's not my project AMU that you might be aware of that I've been talking about a lot. This is just really a chance for me to sort of stitch together a variety of different services and different AIs that um, I've built. So for example, everything from sort of neural nets, GANs, um, genetic algorithms, uh, LOMs um, and also the ability to hook into other uh, popular um, AI frameworks out there as well. The main thing here is the challenge here is just really stitching it all together into a single app to make it quite enjoyable and easy to use. So yeah, this is where I am just now. Uh, my plan is to just keep building additional features and then roll it out and hopefully it'll be useful to people because they'll be interacting with, you know, different agents. It's almost like you've got like five or six different friends and they all have different skills. So it's one of them's like a sysadmin. The other one's a bit more um, general knowledge orientated. The other one does more like tasks and you just set tasks and it goes away and does them. But that's the general sort of principle that I'm working to. Um, I hope that you can enjoy what you're seeing. And if there's a, anything you'd like to know, just reach out to me and hopefully I'll have more updates soon. Thanks for watching.